Hey guys, Elpaka77 here and I wasn't planning on doing a video today but I thought I may as well as I did reach a new landmark on my channel and that was reaching 3k subscribers. I couldn't really think of what to do as a special video so in this video I'll just talk a bit here at the start, go through my club showing you my teams and stuff and then talk about future videos at the end. So yeah, before I go through my club I'd just like to thank everyone who supported me and my channel since I started making videos around February I think it was. 3k subs may not sound like a lot to some of you guys but I'm happy with the rate my channel is, has been growing at and to be honest I think I'm doing quite well considering my channel is very diverse in the fact that I pretty much kept the silvers only and I want to keep it that way even if to some people silvers aren't as good this year. So thanks again and hopefully I'll reach 4 or 5k within the next few months. Anyway though a lot of people probably want to see what I have in my club so I'll go through my inform collection and I'll also show you all of my squads. So this may end up being quite a long video as I do have loads of squads after unlocking all of the extra squad slots. This gives me enough room to make 25 squads. So we we'll take a look at my squads first I think and here is my Silver League 1 squad, French League 1. I showed you this squad before, I think I've got Base there instead of Zuma. Uh, Zuma got a red card, I can't really remember that match, I haven't used his team in a while. I got this team really really cheap though, I've got Letalak there, the inform. I think I got him for 18.5k, so I can switch him there instead of Lacazette. But this team, if I sold this team now, I'd make so much profit. As this Alessandrini, 3.6k I paid, he's going for about 25k now. I think Lacazette, some people are saying he's going for about 35k, he cost me 7.3k. And I've got Inform Alan Traore here, I think people wanted me to review as well, he cost me 35k. Move on to the next squad, and that is my Russian League squad. Haven't actually done a squad builder on this yet. This is the first squad I ever started using on the game, and I can do a squad builder if you want to see my opinions on all the players. But I've got Diego Mauricio and Booker up front, and centre backs are really, really nice. I've got to reach out, really nice stats there, and Zalau. So this is a really fun squad to use. Uh, what's the next squad? That's Liga BBVA, so Spanish League or whatever. And I've got another inform for this squad. This is Edu Alcaba, uh, Albacar, I think that's, how, thinks that's his name. He cost me 10k, which is quite cheap for him. And he's got absolutely crazy shots on him. And he's free kicks, I think 96 shot power and 90 something accuracy. So he's got crazy, crazy free kicks. I have also made a change to the left forward before I was using... This guy here, Pereira, who still I think is really, really good. But everyone's telling me to go and use Orellana. So I got an Orellana for 2.6k in formation, trained as a left forward already. And he's been really nice so far, so I may do a review on him. And I'm also probably going to do a review on the Giovanni de Santos as well. As I got him for 9.3k, but he's going for about 25k now. Uh, moving on to the next squad, and that is my Bundesliga Silver squad, which I haven't showed you yet either in a squad builder. And this is it here, it's really, really nice. Up front, you've got M. Um, Lapa and Giovanni Sio, two really nice players. Centre attacking mid, you'll notice here I've got another in form, and that is Alexander Mier, I think that is. Six foot five, three star skills, and he cost me 42k pretty much. I think I've got him four and two on two though, so I paid a bit more. And then I trained him to 3-5-2, so probably made a bit of a loss there, but I don't really mind. Uh, next squad is SPL. You've seen this squad in this squad builder. It's a really nice squad there. I, think, I can't really remember what I've got the bronzes doing on the bench there, as you can't really search use bronzes to search for it against to come up against a worse squad. I think I was trying to make this squad two and a half stars to play in the tournament that was out. I can't really remember. The next squad is the Serie A squad. And you'll notice here that Marquinho isn't there at centre defensive mid. That's because I've using him in the Brazil Silver squad as a centre mid. So I've got the other one in my trade pile. So he will come back there eventually. I also got Pisano back from when I did the squad builder. I've already also uh, I've got Pisano since then, and he cost me 12k, which is quite a lot. But he's got 92 pace, so he's basically the silver version of Abate. I've also got different centre defence mid here. I did have the Argentinian guy, but I'm trying out this guy here, Luca Morone, who's apparently really good in career mode. I think he goes up to an 86 or something I heard, but he's really nice and he's six foot one, so I thought he was quite good there. I thought I'd try him out. Uh, what's the next squad? The next squad's the Tip Lagan squad. You've seen this, it's not an amazing squad, but it's, it's not too bad, it's quite cheap. So. I've, I think I did a squad builder on this as well, so you can go and try this one out if you want. But this is my Tipper Lagan Silver squad. 
The next one is another squad I haven't showed you in a squad builder. That is my Turkish Turkish squad. It's not Turkish League, it's Turkish. And it's quite a different squad. It should really be 100 chemistry, but I used to have a top rack and 4 on 2 on 2, but I sold him and changed him to 3 5 2 as. That's why I use him in my Bundesliga silver squad. So it's only 96 chemistry. Also, I can't really be bothered to pay 15k for the Turkish right back, so I've just got this Spanish Caravel, I think it is. Carv or Carvajal, that was close enough really. So he just goes right back there with the Bayer Leverkusen link there. But this is a really fun squad, it's actually quite good, a lot better than you think. It's not the fastest, but you've, up front you've got Kazim Richards and Yildirim, and that's really, really fun. Uh, next is Eredivisie, haven't changed anything from the Eredivisie squad since showing you the squad builder. I do have Inform Mataps though, I think that's how you pronounce his name. Six foot two, five star, weaker foot, two star skills. 30k cost me in 4 and 2 and 2, so I could do a review on him if you guys want to see that. And I also picked up this week this, I can't pronounce that name, but this right winger here for 9.9k, and he might be quite fun to try out. I think I was going to make a 4 3 2 1 Eredivisie squad as well using, I was going to try out Vilhena as I think he's got 5, I'm going to have a look here, 4 star skills and 4 star weaker foot, so he looks pretty nice. And I've also got this guy here who wants to try out, who is 4-star skills, 5-star weaker foot. And also Fernandez, who was a beast last year. Um, the next one is my... Oh, that's the goal team. Very slow team, which in fact isn't really a slow team at all. This is the, just the team I use in... I think I used it in Division 1 to get to, do, to get to Division 1. So I don't use my silver teams in the seasons. But this is a nice cheap squad I bought to try out Lassini Traore, possibly one of my favourite silvers last year. Thought I'd try him out this year and his long shot's pretty much just as good this year. So he's again, he's amazing. Uh, next is my championship silver team. Haven't done a score builder on this either, but you can see that here. And to be honest, this is just a pacey team really, it's just a pace haul with. You've got Beckford and Delfonso up front and then defence you've got Zakuani and Baptiste with pace and I think got Roger Johnson there just right in the middle and overall it's a really really nice squad you've also got Vuksevic and Pedersen you can bring in for the long shot I've also got Inform Nugent who I showed you before for this squad don't you ever ever use him really I've just got him and his investment he cost 25k but I think I could sell him now for about 40k and I've also got I think got two Craig Davis or two I think ones in my trade pile as well he cost 7k and the other one was 6k and I could probably sell him for about 10k now. So it's a nice bit of profit there. Uh, next team is my Greek squad. You've already seen this in a squad builder but this is a really nice squad. Haven't changed it at all. I've just kept it like this. I haven't really used it since making the video on this but I may go back to it eventually. Next one is my Austrian Bundesliga. I never used this team at all really. Just wanted to try out a few players. It's quite nice, nice cheap team. Up front you've got a Cote who's six for two four star skills. You've got Trimmel six for two four star skills and you've got Harald Nielsen who's six for two as well. So I want to try out front three all six for two and they are beasts to be honest. But it's not too it's not too good defensively. Rodney is pretty good but the others are pretty awful so I wouldn't advise trying it out. Uh, what else then next is English Premier League Silvers, Bart or Barclays Premier League, and I do have a bong haul there as I'm borrowing him from someone, and I'm probably going to do a review on him. So yeah, I've got a bong haul there to try out, and other than that, of the rest of the teams here, I'm probably going to borrow a Sterling as well. So I could also do a review on Sterling and see what he's like. Um, this video's going on for quite a while, but I've, as I said, I've got so many different teams this year. I prefer to have loads of teams rather than loads of money stocked up there. So A-League, oh this is a bronze team, my first bronze team I'm going to show you and this is a really fun team to use. You've got Hutchinson here with who's got amazing long shots, you've got Moy here who's also got amazing long shots, you've got Ramsey, a 4 star skiller, you've got Rojas here, a 4 star skiller with 5 star weaker foot. Then up front you've got 6 foot 2 Abini Ise with 86 pace, he's an absolute tank. And you've also got Rodic here, 6 foot 2 with the 4 star skills and he's also got an amazing long shot. So if you want to make a bronze team, I'd advise going and trying them out. Uh, it's Liga Portugal team, who I showed you before in one of my videos last week, or at the weekend I think it was. This is a really nice squad, really unique. You never come up against a squad like this. So you can go and try something like this out if you want. I don't have Kelvin anymore, as I, I gave him back to the person I borrowed him from. But you can use a Turbo still, and that's really, really nice. don't know how many more teams there are. 
there shouldn't be too many more. It's Liga Adelante, which uh, someone told me to go and try out. I think it's this guy here, Jesse Rodriguez. So he's there, and I'm trying that out. You've got the informed guy again, and you've got this guy here who is absolutely amazing. De La Cuevas, I think. He scores so many long shots. He's a great player, and it's, that's quite a nice team, to be honest. Uh, the next team is... Oh, Braslo Silvers, it's called, but it's basically just the Brazil Silver team, as I showed you. And this is the bench, in case you wanted to see that. A few nice players. This... This guy here, I was going to try him as his long shots look amazing. So I might try him out. The next squad is... We'll go and have a look here. I've scrolled quite far down. Another bronze team. And this is my Eredivisie bronze, I think. 4 3 2 one. This is a really, really nice squad. Up front, you've got this guy here, Lumu. 83 pace. You've got this four-star skiller here, Hui, something like that. He costs 250 coins. And 88 pace, four-star skiller. That's really nice. And you've also got this guy here who's six foot and he's a bit of a beast. So yeah, I don't know how many squads are left. I think oh, I think this is the last squad here, the squad that I built today. I haven't I've only used it for one match. And this is a nice little hybrid, Argentinian slash Serie A hybrid or Serie A. And I want to try out this guy here, 76 pace, 76 shooting. And if he's good enough, then he'll probably be an underrated silver squad. Underrated Silver of the Week, I mean, as 76 shooting looks amazing. Also wanted to try out this guy here, Lanzini, as people tell me to try him out. And also I found this guy for Palermo, Polo Dybala, something like that. He's got really nice stats there and he only costs 800 coins, so I wanted to try him out as well. So I did say I'd go through some of my informs that I've collected. So those are all my squads. And next I'll show you the informs. So last year you would have seen I collected, I think it was over 100 silver informs. And to be honest, this year silver informs haven't been as good at all. But I've still collected quite a few. So we can have a look at them here. And we've got Alan Traore. We've got Palop. We've got Mario. We've got Nugent. We've got Mier. We've got Sinner. I think Sinner cost me. Sinner was 16k. We've got Mataps. We've got uh, Aguilar. Oh, Aguilar. He costs 13k. We've got the Talak. We've got this guy. I got this week Hossener, the Austrian guy. He was 15k. We've got that guy who was out this week. We've got Edu Albakar. Al I always get his name wrong. And Craig Davis. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So unless I counted that wrong, like an idiot. I should have 14, which isn't as many as last year, but when more come out, I'll pick up more and I'll increase my silver form collection. If you want to see the gold forms I've got, these are just investments really, players I'm going to sell on in the future. I've got two James Rodriguez's, they were only like, six. this one was 16.5k and I've got another for 15k, so I can sell him. I've got a Montalivo here, who I think was 87 rated in game, so I thought I'd pick him up for 21k. There's this goalkeeper here who's out this week. He was 10.5k. Got Debushi, who is 13.5k in 4.42. Got De Bruyne, who was 11.5k. And I've also got Tremolinas, who was just over 10k. So I did mention at the start that I also want to talk about future videos on my channel. And at the moment, I've mainly been doing score builders and the occasional player reviews. But as Black Ops 2 is coming out next week, I'll probably be playing Ultimate Team a lot less as I'm not enjoying it as much as last year. Wants to know though is whether you guys would prefer me to mainly do player reviews with the occasional score builders such as hybrids. And then when it comes to after Christmas, that's when I can do some money making videos as well as show you all the silver upgrades like I did right at the start on my channel. Uh, earlier on in last year. I've also been toying with the idea of bringing out a video every Wednesday when the new team of the week comes out and do a run through of every player in the team of the week and show you their in-game stats and talk about which players you should pick up. That's just an idea, it's up to you guys. I just thought it'd be nice as I could bring out every Wednesday evening or something and show you the in-game stats of every player from that team of the week. Let me know in the comments what you think about all that guys. At the end of the day it's all down to you. Anyway, I'm sorry this video went on a bit too long, but thanks again for everyone's support, and I hope you look forward to more great silver content on my channel. So thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.